Welcome to more Nerdy Road and Geekery. Today I am playing with more deep learning, but this time with voices. Yes, it's even more deep learning geekery. This time I'm looking at real-time voice cloning on GitHub. As it says at the top here, this repository is an implementation of transfer learning from speaker verification to multi-speaker text-to-speech synthesis, also known as SV to TTS, with a vocoder that works in real time. Ooh, okay, we've got a little picture that shows what it does, but we, we need to play with things, don't we? We need to play with things. So, so a little scroll down here. Uh, you do, of course, need a GPU. Install requirements, quite easy. Python 3.6 or 3.7, uh, PyTorch and FFmpeg. However, you also need port audio as well. That seems to be missing in there, but it will throw lots of errors if you don't install that. I just did Contra install port audio and away it goes. Now, um, you also have to download the pre-trained models. And once you've downloaded and unzipped that, you can then run this little demo. Uh, this little demo doesn't give you the little GUI that it shows up here. That, that comes in a minute. Um, it's just a text-only version to, uh, to make sure that everything works. So you can run this. It will go through all its various bits and pieces. Detect your GPU. And then I've got some, some test audio I need to give it. I happen to have one. I made earlier here. This is just a little, little clip, and then load that, and then you type a sentence. Okay, so what am I going to synthesize? Let's synthesize some things. Uh, okay, um, yeah, nerdy rodents. That's my father's best YouTube channel I have ever known. I love nerdy so much. Okay, let's try that. Click that, it'll go through, do its thing, and then. <laughs> yeah, it's close. It's close, isn't it? It is it is just a little bit of test audio, so we'll we'll click that. But it does work. It does work. That's the main thing. So, right, if all tests pass, you're good to go. I am good to go. So optional downloads. I haven't actually downloaded any of these. I haven't done any training either. Um, but I have installed the training stuff. Um, it does say that it's um, a little bit difficult to get set up on Windows, um, but Linux, yeah, it, it, it just installed, you know, pip install minus r requirements underscore gpu dot text. It's, uh, it's the TensorFlow 1.15 GPU version. Obviously, you can also install it in Conda um, if you want as well, uh, but that installs very nicely. Um, so those, that better guide there, that's just for Windows users. Um, so I wouldn't wouldn't worry about that too much. <laughs> anyway, right, Python demo. So it's the GUI. It's the GUI. This is what we're here for, isn't it? Having a look at what it does. So there we go. SV2 TTS toolbox. So it gives you a little bit of an introduction there about what to do. Uh, and you've got loads of things over here that, that look all, all very confusing and stuff. But uh, the first thing I think I need really is some, some audio, isn't it? It's, it's some audio. So here, here's one I, I had a look at look at earlier and it seems to work all right oops let's copy it from here so we go in here and you can record as well but I'll, I'll just show you doing this so this is just an old recording I picked this one because um, it hasn't got any music to go with it it's just uh, just the lady singing uh, so where have you been my good old husband where have you been she called him a dear where have you been my good old husband yeah anyway so there's a one minute and 20 seconds of that we don't need the entire one minute and 20 seconds we only need between five and 12 seconds so that's fine let's save this audio off already got it saved there so I'm just do a quick replace there we go fantastic right so that's got the audio but as it's from uh 19 50 something or whatever it's quite old um i will do a little bit of a cleanup on it so also i don't need that whole uh a whole minute and 12 seconds if i just open this up you can see in here there's a little breath which is very handy because that will allow us to filter out some of the noise so that's where she pauses slightly we can listen to that okay so we'll just clear this up a little bit with r uh, noise reduction. If I can find it in this menu, there we are. Noise reduction. Get that noise profile. I'll just P 
rotate that. And then that's a little bit quieter now. Yeah, great. Okay, so just need about 12 seconds of this. Let's uh, scroll out a bit and look for a good bit. And uh, that looks quite like quite a long bit there. So start there, I'll just grab this bit here. Length of selection, nine seconds. Yeah, that'll do. Fine. Okay, so file, export, export selected audio, and I'm just going to call this uh, selected audio. Uh, and that was about nine seconds, wasn't it? Let's save that. It's fine. Get rid of that. Go back into this GUI. Now I browse. And I get that selected audio nine seconds. That will load that in there. Okay, then we get the Mel spectrogram. All right, we're almost done. We can have a little play as well, just to make sure. How many do you want, my good old husband? How many do you want? She called him. A yep, that's fine. Excellent. So this is the TTS bit in here. So we can put something entirely different in here. Um, or we can get it to just say that, which is fine by me. Um, the encoder, these are all the pre-trained models that we downloaded earlier and unzipped. Um, there is also the Griffin Lim vocoder model in that. That sounds very robotic. Um, try it if you like, but yeah, pre-trained one is fine. And obviously Pulse Audio as I am on Ubuntu. So synthesize and vocode, literally that is all there is to it. And uh, now she is going to say these words. Are you ready? Here we go. Tacatron goes. Into the toolbox to begin loading utterance from your data set, so record on yourself. Once its embedding has been created, you can synthesize any text written here. With the current synthesizer model, punctuation and special characters will be ignored. The synthesizer expects to generate outputs that are somewhere between 5 and 12 seconds. Let's just turn that down a bit. So there you go. So that's, that's about it. So that way you can, uh, you can clone particular voices. Um, there's also a record function as well there, so you can uh, record your own voice. And we'll just give that a little go as well, so if I hit the record. This is me speaking. I don't sound very American though, so lol, that should be interesting. This is me speaking. I don't sound very American though, so lol. Right, there you go, so I'll try and synthesize me now, and then I sound like this. Apparently, apparently this is what I sound like. Okay, <clears throat> I don't think I want this to happen. Welcome to the toolbox to begin loading utterance from your data sets or record one yourself. Once its embedding has been created, <laughs> you can synthesize any text yeah. here. Yeah, so yeah, as you can see, it comes out a little bit American. Um, so like record instead of record, things like that. But um, yeah, otherwise it's it's lots of fun to play with. So yeah, stick that with, uh, say, the, the thing I looked at earlier, the first order motion model for image I mentioned. Yeah, yeah. Then you can do a little voice to that. Oh, just like I did in the intro. Anyway, uh, I think that's about it for now. Enjoy. Rodent out.